Hi, Mick Kenyon here from Open Tracking. Today we're just going to go through how to add timing points to um, a tracking map. So if we look at an example here, we've got a start point in, in the first purple um, circle, and we also have a finish point in the second purple circle at the east coast of the country. In between we have these red markers. These are also timing points, so that um, if you wanted to, to see it on the tracking map, each one of these would have um, a time for each of the participants as they, they progressed along the course. Okay, so um, how do we do this? So first of all, we will send you through a, um, a, a an Excel spreadsheet for this to be completed. And as a minimum, we will need columns A, B, C and D to be completed. So if we look at these columns in um, order, so first one is sequence, so that's simply a numeric value, one, two, three, so we're going to, um, to first set off at the start, which would be sequence one, then we'll have a checkpoint one, and then we'll have a finish point. Okay, so um, first thing to, to note is if this is a, a um, circular route, then you will need at least three checkpoints. Um, this is so that when the, the, the competitors or participants start, it doesn't also trigger off the finish um, as soon as they've started. So you need an intermediate one in there as well. So um, once we've got the three checkpoints, how do we actually find out the latitude and longitudes? Well, the latitudes and longitudes need to be in decimal degrees. Um, and one of the simplest ways is actually to use Google Maps. So if you go into Google Maps and you search for a place name and um, perhaps a start location of, of your course. And so here we've, we've got Haverthwaite uh, and this is where our offices are, are based. <coughs> OK, to, um, to find out where, where uh, you actually want the, the start location, obviously there's, there's the map there. But you can also use the satellite imagery as well. So if we go in there into the um, map and we can see the offices there and this is our entrance into the um, into our offices here. So if I, if I was to start a race from the, the um, entrance to our offices, what I would do is go into Google Maps, do a long left click on the map and this produces a, a little map pin. If you then right click on that map pin, the top number there, which starts in the uh, 54, is the latitude, and the minus three is the longitude. But if you actually click on this number, it automatically clips this to your, your clipboard, uh, which is a, a really useful little tool. So if we then go back into the spreadsheet, and we were to uh, paste that into the latitude column, um, which is super, but we actually need the the longitude put it into the longitude column so you will need to cut that out um, take the comma out put that into the longitude column and paste that there okay so on this little example which I'm going to show you we're going to finish at the same point as what we started so I'll also um, paste that into uh, the finish location so if I, I jump back over into Google Maps here and this time I'll show you uh, using the map um, view rather than the satellite view. And if we were to do a circular route, so that, that was where we started from, and we're going to run uh, along here, down the road, and then back down. So um, the midpoint there, that'd be a great place for a checkpoint. So again, a long left click on the map, that produces a pin. Right click on the pin, the numbers appear for, for the latitude and longitude. Click on the latitudes and longitudes, jump back into the spreadsheet, and again cut and paste that into the, the latitude column. Okay, once you've done that, cut the um, longitude out from the latitude um, column and paste that into the correct column. And it's as simple as that. Um, and once you've done that, just ping that over to talk to at opentracking.co.uk and we can add the timing points to your tracking map. Hope you found this useful. See you soon.